Hey guys, I'm Root with Chuck and Sherry. So that's well deserved what we've just been through. With probably it took us an hour to find our campsite. It did. Only because we actually had a premium water site, which was beautiful, beautiful view, but it's rainy and it's, it's windy. It's super windy over there. Yeah, it was like a yeah. so windstorm. We're over at there. Pima Tuning State Park. Yes. In Andover, Ohio. And I stole this koozie from Larry. Thanks, Larry. <laughs> so, I, we were, so, we had to drive around, look for a non-muddy site, look for a non-windy site, and we found one. We got one. It's and a nice site. And we're pretty excited about it. Yep. So, it's a little yeah, smaller, we, but we're yeah, going to deal with it. We had to give up our premium site, but we'll have more later, so it's all good. So cracking a beer, making some dinner, starting a fire, yep. starting our night off right. Let's get it. <laughs> All right guys, so it's Friday night and over the course of these past couple years, we've learned that on Friday night, it shouldn't be no extensive meal plan. And we were doing that for a long time, but we've condensed that to just a little like maybe a sandwich or something very easy to make, maybe on the Blackstone. Um, just because you get here late Friday night, you don't wanna like cook this big meal, have to do dishes. You just wanna like get here, eat, relax, have a fire. So it took us a while to learn that lesson, but we did. So Chuck is making tonight. What are you making? Uh, just some uh, hot deli sandwiches, mm -hmm. I guess is what you call it. I don't know what do you call it. What are we making? We're making hot deli sandwiches. Hot deli sandwiches. <laughs> then I take a little bit. Uh, oh. Ooh. Hey. Sorry, y'all. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Now you can't see me. <laughs> and I can't see nothing. Of course so. Nice quick meal, good. Yeah. Um, it was a hit. <laughs> <laughs> it always is. It's always a hit. When you're hungry and you got food, <laughs> it's a hit. It's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna sign off here. Dude, we haven't even started a fire yet. I don't know it's taking us so long, but we're gonna start a fire after this. Go. So we'll see you guys in the morning. So we're at Pima Tuning State Park and we are about to do some Oriole calling. So what we've done in the past year is, is we hook uh, her phone, my phone up to the Bluetooth speaker. We turn it up, we play Oriole calls, Oriole singing, and we do it at home all the time. Mm -hmm. And they come right on in. It's crazy. It's like within like five minutes. Yeah. And we did do this last week at Alam. He messed up the video. I did. He like cut it out. And maybe she'll. He got too excited. I did. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe she'll edit some of that in. Maybe. No. Probably not. But we're going to do it again <laughs> here. Prove this works. Okay. All you got to do is find Oriole singing. Play it on a Bluetooth speaker. Loud as heck. And they'll come in. If you're interested in that. But we'll see. We're going to test it out again today. Yeah. And we've d never done it with any other birds. But, but because the Orioles are a little tougher to see all the time. Yeah. We like to get those guys to come in and they sound pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. Let's see what happens. All right. So, beautiful morning. And as I'm cooking breakfast, we're going to do something different today. We are going to do stuffed banana nut French toast. 
and see how this turns out. I've never done it before. I've never made French toast in my entire life, but I think I can do it. Hey, Cher. Hey, Cher. There she is, looking for birds while I'm working. Let's see if we can get this done. French toast. Mm. Stuffed French toast. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad. Mm. That's really good. It is good. Yeah. Yep. Nice job. I'll be doing that again. <laughs> just gotta try stuff. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? People are always like, how do you do? You just think and, and then just do it and it happens and you eat it. So <laughs> try it. Alright guys, it took a little longer than five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we finally came in. A few hours later. There's our Oriole. Hard to see, he keeps hiding back in that branch. But he's in there. But he's up there. I watch you as you drive. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on. I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever I well, we were happy we got to see the Oriole mm -hmm. and now we're here at the spillway I can't remember what it's called <laughs> the spillway you guys know I don't ever remember the name oh my gosh in Linesville, PA, this was go. like recommended by a whole bunch of people to come down here. Yeah, from the park, it's like uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes drive. Something yeah, like that. about 15. Yeah, but you get to see other parts of the lake and it looks pretty cool so far. Yeah, but we brought some food for the fish. Some, some stale bread. <laughs> okay, so we're here. We're going to feed the carp. I want you to see how ridiculous this is. Go ahead, hand down there. Look at this. So, what I'm gonna do is go get my pole, put this bread on here, and y'all can't see, I can't catch <laughs> fish. I'm about to catch one of these big old carp. That's called, that's cheating. Ain't cheating. These are, these are, uh, these are wild fish, okay? Pime to me late, all right? So, again, is that what professional fishermen do? Yeah, you locate is, fish, uh -huh. you find out what they're, what they're feeding on, uh -huh. bread. Okay. 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 <laughs> and then you target them and you go catch them. I'm about to go Have you ate, ever ate carp before? No, I've never eaten carp. So I didn't know this, but carp are part of a traditional Christmas Eve dish in Germany, Poland, and Czech Republic. But not in America. I mean, maybe... America, America says that these bottom feeders are trash fish, but I've heard a lot of stories of people cooking and cleaning, cleaning and cooking these and saying they taste great. Yeah. I usually just buy my fish store bought until because he can't catch them. Get the hell out of here! Uh huh. You know I can catch fish, and I will catch. We fish. all know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks good, right? Anything looks <laughs> with the fried. lemon. And yeah. <laughs> that almost reminds me of tequila. <laughs> it's not any good till you start sucking on that lemon. <laughs> okay.
All right, sure. What you about to do? This actually reminds me of when my grandfather used to take us and feed the, the ducks, the fish. So, Where at? It's nostalgic for me. Where'd you guys go? Everywhere. All right. Yeah. Toss it out there. You want to, uh, you want me to show you my softball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> show me your uh, bread skipping skills. It's a lot of carp down there. Somehow this is beginning to be a thing. We are at uh, the Gatehouse Winery and more importantly, the Mortal Key Brewery. Brewery. Oh, We're well. supposed to be at the campsite. That's what you do on the weekend. <laughs> okay. Go have fun. This moment, can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I do. If you're in the area, probably between the state park, whether if you're on the PA side, Ohio side, it's come here. Pretty cool. It is pretty yeah. nice. Good we, drinks. But we gotta get back to the campsite. We spent too much time here. Time. Yeah, let's let's get well, yeah. Okay. Alright guys, change of pace. Sherry's cooking again. What we got? I'm just making an easy sausage dip. Okay, what's in it? So fake cheese. Yep. AKA Velveeta. We love it. <laughs> Um, so I'm just already cut that up, throwing that in there. Okay. My hands are clean. <laughs> I already browned the sausage at home. Perfect. So I'm just putting that in there. I didn't even know you had done that. I was wondering what that was in there. Mm -hmm. Nice job. And then I'm just using some Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. Perfect. And pouring that in there. How long are we letting that go for? I have some salsa in there too that I made that I may include. I just wanted to cook a little bit before I add that. All right. So we can let that cook down for a little bit? Yeah. All right. Let's All see right. what happens. <laughs> so we're back to our original site. Um, this was our view. It was. And we had to give it up. And we now did. it's beautiful. There's no wind. There's no wind. The rain's gone. Forecast is clear. It's still our site. Tomorrow. Still our name, though. It is. It's unpaid for, though. Uh, tomorrow, I think it's supposed to be <laughs> well, like. They hooked us up. Yeah. They hooked us up. <laughs> tomorrow is supposed to be like 80, but because no one has come down here mm -hmm. and, and booked this site, I'm going to try and do some fishing. So try. wish me luck, okay? Try. Don't be a hater. Wish me luck. Um, what are we having for dinner tonight? Not fish. So, <laughs> Andrea, what are we having for dinner tonight? Not, not fish. Yeah, they know. So we're they know. Fish because we weren't planning on having fish. 
We tossed all we the fish back. We can never plan to have fish if it were up to you. We tossed all the fish back. You did? We're going to make chicken wings tonight. Now you're telling fish tales. Yeah. Chicken wings are the next best thing. <laughs> who don't like wings? I'll run people, yeah. who, people who catch <laughs> All right, guys. These are our new friends. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. I'm Josh. Ashley. And how did we meet? How do we know each other? Through YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube brings yeah. everyone together. It's such a great community. You meet so many great people, just like Josh and Ashley here. So get a YouTube channel if you don't have one. And they're thinking about it, and we and told them they need to just go ahead yes. and do it. Absolutely. <laughs> and we'll show you their flag yep. uh, yeah. before we end yeah. the video. <laughs> but yep. you have to see their awesome setup. Yeah, so Sherry and I were talking about how everybody can you can have a fifth wheel you can have a tiny camper like us you can have a sleeping bag um their setup is something that we actually had envisioned when yeah, we were tenting we and when we saw this we said it has to be on video so let's yeah. take a tour all right let's do it all righty tell us what you got here we're gonna walk in to the oasis first off you know this is what i'm talking about the Cabela's kitchen camp kitchen look at this guys running water Look at this. Pantry. Got a sink. Yep. Look at this thing. Completely enclosed. It's windy as heck out here. It's warm inside here, isn't it? Oh, it yeah. is. It's warm inside here, just can't, blocking can't, the wind. Can't forget I got that thing. Oh yeah, look at that. He got that thing in there. That's right. Yes, sir. Yep. He knows what it is. Yep. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> got the... Uh, Bodega refrigerator and freezer, so Love we can it. have ice cream if we want. Yep. And guess what? <laughs> It's his birthday, and I am signing that thing. Yes, absolutely. And it would have been my birthday, too, had I brought my shirt. Right. And we all know okay. her birthday <laughs> is birthday over with. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But, yeah, so, yeah. Okay. The, the bar. Little, little bar. Little yep. bar situation there. Sherry yep. knows what that is. Yep. And then, most importantly, look at the living quarters here. Completely enclosed. I love this. This is a Easy Up Cube 6.4. Okay. And it's uh, 10 foot by 10 foot. Okay, and the canopy, how big is the canopy? Canopy is a 10 by 20. 10 by 20 canopy. Yep. What an awesome setup you guys got in here. Yep. And I'll tell you, if we were still tenting and, and we would have ran into these guys, we would have bought all this immediately <laughs> and would have been in this thing right now. This is awesome. Good thank job, guys. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. And it's nice, too. It's nice. It's beautiful. Nice Stays setup. Warm. So I think we need to do a birthday shot. <laughs> birthday shots. Birthday shots. All right. All right. We'll do it. We'll yeah. do it. Hey, Let's nice job, it. guys. We appreciate Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank you, guys. All right. What you got going on? So, we're making wings tonight. Uh, fried wings. I got the Dutch oven with the grease in there getting hot. But more importantly, this thing here was gifted to me by Dave Fitch. Follow the Fitches. If you don't follow him, follow him. And this is my first time utilizing this thing. Appreciate you, Dave. Works perfect, I think. We'll see how the wings yeah. turn out. <laughs> if they're bum, it's on Dave, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so meanwhile, while Chuck is cooking his wings, just making sure the salsa looks great. Um, it's been cooking for a few hours now. And I did add a little additional salsa that I had left over and some Rotel and some hot sauce because we do like a little kick to it but it does look pretty good so that's coming along too chips right lady Since December, 
Ripped your heart, got a brand new one Since you got lost in November See it in your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind It's early, the comfort of sunrise And we're leaving with a fish And any fisherman knows Early bird gets the worm <laughs> For the record, that's just a little baby bass anyway, so it doesn't matter. Look they don't count. Guy. It doesn't count. Okay. Everything counts, but look for the big guy. Mm -hmm. Anybody can catch those guys. Mm-hmm. All right. It's Mother's Day, so for my lovely wife and her mother. Say hi. It's my mom hi. and dad. <laughs> I'm cooking steaks. Or actually, I'm going to make... <laughs> <laughs> we're cooking yeah, steaks? Right, yeah, we'll right. We'll have him. <laughs> it's a glitch. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Actually, we're making uh, macaroni and cheese. You got me excited for a yeah, second. I know, yeah, I know. <laughs> macaroni and cheese stuffed uh, sausage from Pollen Meats, get that. which uh, Ronnie Clapper put us on to, which these things are awesome. I don't, I'm not a mac and cheese person, but we tried these, and it was amazing, and we're having them. And also, we're gonna do burgers, but I'm not gonna smash them, we're just making burgers. So, the kids are coming out, father-in-law's out, mother-in-law's here, my lovely wife is here, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> The eagle's nest, remember? Uh-huh. Well, you got it up on my face. You know what's up here. This isn't a mystery. And if, I mean, you saw it there, right? Just okay. so everybody knows what we're looking for. Oh, okay. Is this like a fishing store? Yeah, no, no. it's, it's right fishing here. Fishing tails. Here Come over here. Come back. All right. I'm going to take right a picture. Well, you, you can. It's up this tree here. This tree. This, this first. You yeah. see this dead tree on the ground? Yeah. If you follow that big one all the way up to the top, you can see that big tree. Can you hold that? Bunch of. Might be able to get a better look on the other side. You see the stake 266? Yeah. You see the tree behind it? Yeah. That Follow one. it all the way up. And then you'll see right. the big cluster yep. in there. Yeah. Yeah. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, that's why they close it all off here. What you got? Smallmouth. Smallmouth? How many is that for you? How many is that for you this weekend? We're back to the spillway. Yep. And what I just found out, and probably why it was so nostalgic for me, was I was actually here as a kid when I was like seven years old. My parents just told me. They brought me up here with my grandpa and my brother, and we all were feeding the carp. Exactly. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. Now we're bringing our kids up here. Yeah. So. With the grandparents. With the grandparents. <laughs> Some luck in the book. I don't give up what so and so and say. Finally got my friends in the back of my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moment. Stay in the moment with me. All right, that's our weekend. That's a wrap. <laughs> Prime Tuning State Park. Awesome place to be. Kind of, um, I wish we would have held out and kept our spot yeah. down there but you know what it was the right call moving out. it wasn't muddy yeah. sometimes you just got to do what you got to do yeah um but great weekend mm -hmm. again with awesome people yep. so glad we get to catch up with our friends and made new friends yep. and um dave and andrea thanks for coming out yeah and seeing us and making the looking trip. forward to the next one with you guys yep josh and ashley again it was awesome meeting you guys yeah. and uh you guys need to start a channel. Yeah, it's do all it. to just it. Do just it. do it. All you gotta do is just do it. Yep. <laughs> um, Kermit and Diana. Kermit and Diana. Mm -hmm. Like, 
the orange people. We love the orange people. <laughs> <laughs> John and Heather, always good yep. with those guys. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is a, it's a nice park, a uh, great time. We didn't get any hiking in, yeah. but a lot of sights and things to do in the area. But the family came out. Phone call. <laughs> family came out for Mother's Day, which is very special to me. So very happy that they, they're here with us. <laughs> yep. But other than that, we're gonna go eat our food or cook out get home pack up for the next trip yep. <laughs> next weekend we'll be right back on the road in a few days yeah happy mother's day to all the mothers out happy there happy mother's day guys until next time safe travels mm -hmm.